What if you took a gimbal and a webcam and these two had a baby? I know, that sounds kind of weird. But I think that's the best way to describe this. It's the Obsbot Tiny 2 webcam. And it might just be the coolest webcam I've seen in a long time. <laughs> Tech it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk. I can't wait to try this out. This is the Obsbot Tiny 2 webcam. It's got 4K optics. They claim it has AI-powered brains built in, but what I think is cool is that it sort of has a gimbal built in. It can pan and tilt and zoom and follow you around the room and a whole lot of other cool features that they say are built into the software. I get it. There's a million webcams. They all claim to be better, but this one, to me, looked different and unique. So here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to show you what comes inside the box and then I'm gonna plug this into my computer and I'm gonna take you through and show you how this thing works. So come along, let's get this thing over to the table and take a look. Here it is, the box for the Obsbot Tiny 2 4K webcam. Bunch of cool accessories included. You get the mount, the USB cable, the cable adapter. Let's get my knife and slice this open. Inside we have an instruction manual as you'd expect, although it is pretty thick. It seems pretty thorough from what I can tell. And then look at this, some sort of case included. How nice is that? So the entire thing comes inside this really nice solid case and that's it. The box is empty. Inside the case, let's take a look. Ooh, there it is. We've got uh, a nice thick USB-C cable. We've got the mount for your monitor and then the OBSBOT Tiny 2 4K camera itself. Ooh, look at this. They actually included a USB to USB-C adapter inside the package. Not necessary, but a nice touch for sure to have that included for those who don't have a USB-C plug in their computer. Overall, this case is slick. Nice touch, nice addition, and great to see that inside the box. I gotta say, the camera itself is heavy. It's got some weight to it. It feels like a quality webcam. It feels metally and, and, and strong and tough, and I'm impressed with the build quality right out of the box of this thing. I've got great first impressions of this OBSBOT camera, so now I want to get it plugged into my computer and see how this thing works. Okay, so I want to show you how this camera works just kind of in real life. I'm going to put it to the test here for you. In fact, first of all, you're looking at me recorded on this camera right now, so that should give you an idea of the video quality quality of this camera. Now I'm using a professional microphone here, but I do want to switch over to the microphone that's built into the camera itself. And now I'm switched over to that. You can hear it. It sounds more echoey. Of course it does. It's not right in front of my mouth like this microphone is, but it is pretty good. It's got multiple microphones on the camera itself. This is what it's going to sound like if you're using the onboard microphone on this camera with something like Zoom or any sort of video chat on your computer. So I've got a couple of cameras, as you can see over my shoulder, set up right now. One of them is taking a close-up look at the camera the whole time. And so I'll cut that in and out, and you'll be able to see that. This camera right here is going to give you a screenshot of the whole screen. That way you can see kind of what I'm doing over here. So for example, right now, no tracking is turned on. This is the software with this camera. It's on standard mode right now, which means if I move around, nothing really happens. Now, if I hit normal tracking, watch this. As I move, the camera follows me. See how that works? And it's really smooth. It's actually really impressive how smooth the motion is. If I hit close up, not only will it follow me, but it'll actually zoom in to remain kind of a close up shot. Take a look. As I move around the room, and you'll see it zooms into me as I'm moving around the room. So how cool is that if you have to move around while you're doing some sort of presentation or something along those lines? It's got a lot of other cool modes. I do want to show you something that I think is cool, which is the focus that's built into this camera because it has not only a good sensor, but it has a pretty quick, good focus. If I hold something up in front of the camera, you'll notice how quickly it readjusts the image and refocuses on that specific item, which is great if you're doing video blogs or YouTube videos or even showing something on a video chat or a zoom call for example there's a lot of cool settings when it comes to tracking so you've got normal tracking you've got that close-up tracking I just showed you you can set it to upper body you can set it to lower body if for some reason you're trying to show your feet for example or doing a demo of dancing is something that they showed off on their website or you even have headless if for some reason you want to cut off your head that will track you but not show your head in AI mode you have a couple of things so you've got hand mode which like lets you kind of follow certain hands. Now this is designed if you're doing some sort of a presentation. So this would be my right hand. You could switch it to left hand. It's getting kind of wonky there. 
Oh, it's switching to my hand over here. And so what it does is it tracks your hand. If you're showing a presentation on a board and you're pointing to stuff, well, that mode will work out perfectly. You've got group mode. Let me actually switch back here so you can see me. You've got a group mode. And what that does is that focuses on an entire group of people. So as more people come in and sit at the table, for example, in a conference room, it's going to zoom out. Whiteboard mode recognizes the whiteboard, focuses on that. Desk mode is designed to flip down to your desk. It'll actually flip the image so that the image looks kind of right side up and then there you go you've got desk mode if you want to show something on your desk and then you turn it off and it'll pop it back up to your face again which is kind of cool you have a manual control of the actual kind of motor in here as well as the gimbal so I can go back and forth and it's so smooth isn't that impressive how smooth the little gimbal in here works you can manually control the zoom as well and then you've got some just shot adjustments this is the wide shot you can do a medium shot and of course you can do a more narrow shot as well. Now there are more settings in terms of adjusting things with the image. You've got an autofocus, you've got some exposure settings, you've got flicker settings, white balance settings, different settings for the color and the image adjustments. And you go into more and you'll get even more. This is cool. Voice control on this camera. So if I say this, hi tiny, sleep tiny, hi tiny, isn't that cool? So it puts it to sleep, wakes it back up, track me. Zoom in closer. Zoom out further. Zoom out further. Unlock me. Track me. Isn't that cool? I mean, it really can do a cool job of tracking you. And then in addition to that, you get some basic uh, hand motions too. So if I hold my hand up like this, it'll lock the target and unlock the target. So it's now unlocked. That's why the light is green. If I hold it up again, it blinks. Once it's locked, it turns blue. And so it's going to follow me around. And then if I hold my hand up like this, it'll actually zoom in on my face or whatever the target is for that matter. I'm going to hold it up again. It should zoom out. And if you use two hands, this is really cool. I can hold two hands up and it's going to blink, which means it's active. And then I can pull my hands apart and zoom in using my hands and then zoom out using my hands again. Pretty neat. I'm not sure I would use the hand gestures very often, although it is a cool party trick. I'm not sure that's something I would use often if I'm already using the tracking. And you know, you don't want to be holding your hand up like that during a meeting or doing a YouTube video, but still kind of a, a cool thing. I do like the voice control. I think that's kind of cool, especially for putting it to sleep and waking it up, which is something I think people will do often. And then you do have a few settings for adjusting a bokeh effect with the background blurred out, retouching your face, it'll make you look better. You can adjust the, the slimness of your face. You know, these are kind of those things you've seen in Zoom, and I'm not really going to mess with these because, again, these are kind of artificial adjustments. You can play around with it, and they're in most of the software these days. But, you know, some people might find that helpful to use those. So what do you think? Are you sold on this? I'd love to know. Throw a comment below. I read every single comment. I actually think this is cool, much cooler than I even thought it was going to be. And the video quality actually blew me away. I'm super impressed. I can't wait to see your comments about this. And of course, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more cool, geeky videos coming your way. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.